we all have a role here and everybody's role is equally important. And I think that's what I try to instill in, in all staff. Not one of us can do this alone. A client can't do it alone. HASA can't do it alone. A community organization can't do it alone. A hospital can't do it alone, right? We all have a hand in working with that client. It's, it's our voice adding to other voices. And when you pull that together, that's where you get the positive result. HIV AIDS Service Administration is a city organization under the Department of Social Services for individuals who are diagnosed with, um, with HIV. And we provide essential services including financial assistance, emergency housing assistance, uh, referrals to other CBOs, which are community-based organizations, um, for legal assistance and things that we may not provide here. The first area that I oversee is the service line intake area and that is the division by which um, one determines whether or not somebody is medically eligible for this program and then I also oversee the eligibility financial assistance so those would be the public benefits that would be the cash assistance that would be the SNAP benefits and that would be your Medicaid benefits and one of the biggest things that we provide here which is wonderful is rental assistance so for individuals that are already in an apartment but are unable to maintain the rent level based upon either having no income or low income we step up and we make up that difference we service anybody who is a New York City resident who has been diagnosed with HIV. 33,000 cases we have right now. We do have a range from 18 all the way up to into the 70s. We have individuals who um, are homeless and we work with getting them into our emergency housing system to put a roof over their heads. We also have individuals who are employed so we really have that wide gamut. We're dealing with a very vulnerable population here um, who either have substance abuse issues, mental health issues, both. Um, they're dealing with HIV. They're dealing with a whole host of things. Now, those of us that, that really had the calling to do this work, um, we really are the voice for this population. So I actually started as a caseworker. It was so different back then. People didn't want to work with this population. People didn't want to touch this population. And so the biggest change right now is that we have, you know, we have clients who are much healthier who are living longer and much better lives, more productive lives. So one of the things that, that I think is, is great about this agency and one of the things that we have managed to do is as the course of the disease has changed, so have we. All right, so just shoot me an email if you need me to send somebody over to help out. Perfect, thanks. Bye. The best part I think about this job is when you actually get that really heartfelt, warm thank you and that, that gratitude that you get when you're able to really do something and keep that person in their apartment or, or get, that, get that client that job. And even if it was one of those rough days and one of those days where you just wanted to pull your hair out, um, you could somehow find something you did within that seven hour plus work day that really made a difference in somebody's life.